Hello and welcome to Peg with Craft Room Stories. Thank you for joining me today. I am going to get to do one of my favorite things today and that is decoupage. If any of you know what it is, then you know that it's basically getting to play with glue. <laughs> How fun is that? Dif uh, different types of glue. And there's different types that you can use, but I'm going to not get into that yet. If you want to play along, you're going to need, um, like I'm using an acrylic medium. Uh, it's a matte, super heavy gel that I have mixed with some water. Or you could use some Mod Podge. Or you can mix just white school glue with a little water, just thin it down a little bit. Um, there may be other things you can use, but those are the things I know. So, and you'll need a paintbrush. And different people do things different ways. This is how I'm doing it. So you can, if you know a better way, then just play along using whatever you want to use. I also have a story to tell. Um, and of course, why? Why does it leave me? Oh, but I wanted to thank you. Y'all, I'm over 300 subscribers. I am so excited. I cannot even believe 300 people would ever subscribe or watch me because I'm a lunatic and I know this. But thank you. Thank you so much. And if any of you are watching and have not subscribed, it would be so cool to get to 500. And you know, if I get to 500, there will be another giveaway. Something fun for sure because... I'm not going to give away anything that's not fun. So also, um, Isabel helped me go through my craft closet of shame and helped me make it an organized craft closet. It is no longer the craft closet of shame. But I was ruthless and found a bunch of stuff that doesn't particularly go with what I like to do, which is kind of a vintage and shabby, uh, chic look. That's my style that I prefer. And so I've got a bunch of stuff to give away or to sell. Actually, I'll probably, some of it I might give away in Happy Meals, but some of it I'm going to sell on the um, Traveling Crafters Make it, Makers Market. So on, um, I'll, I don't know how to post that link on Facebook, but if you ever watch the Traveling Crafter or um, Carol at a Crinkled Path, they talk about it and they can tell you where to go. <laughs> I'm not even sure. I Someday I'll have it. But I might even show some of the things that I want to sell um, on another video and um, see if I can pique some interest in you going over there and doing a little shopping. So, the story I was going to tell was literally, I mean, like two seconds ago, before I started the thing, you know, recording, I was like, I'm going to tell that one. That's kind of funny, and I don't think I've told it yet. Can I remember it? No. My life frustrates me. Oh, now I remember it. Okay. So, I don't know if I have told you all the grief of what has been going on in my life. It, there's been a little bit without um, recording because there was a death in our family, and there you know, was funeral arrangements and um, all of that. So... Um, and then my dog, Itty, got hurt on spring break when we went to Ohio. And I've been having to carry her in and out of the house to go potty. And the rest of the time, she's either being held or is in a dog stroller that we got for her that uh, works out really, really well for her. She's sleeping right beside me in the dog stroller. And has her little monkey in there. She will periodically wake up and start squeaking the monkey. So beware. It may happen. I don't know. But the reason I'm giving you that backstory is because in taking her in and out, we go in and out through the laundry room. And I walked down the stairs this one time last week, and there was a tarantula in my house. Now, I've told you before that we live in the country in Oklahoma. We're, we're rural, but we're not that rural. I mean, we're literally like a mile away from a Sonic. We just live kind of up a little incline on like 20 acres. So neighbors aren't particularly close, except for the lady that owns the property, her and her husband, their son lives here as well. That's like our neighbors. So anyway, 
um, tarantula. Yeah. It wasn't a terribly large tarantula. I don't think it would have bothered me either way. I don't want them in my house, but they don't bother me terribly a lot because they don't really, you know, care about people one way or the other. They're like looking for crickets and stuff. Nevertheless, Isabel is terrified of spiders, like terrified. And I said, Isabel, don't come down to the laundry room right now. Give me a minute. And she was like, why? What? <laughs> she immediately on the alert because she knows where we live. And, and I said, well, um, there's a tarantula down here. And she goes, oh, my word, oh, my word. You know? <laughs> and I said, it's not a terribly big one. She goes, that does not make me feel better. And then she said, but I kind of want to face my fears a little bit. And I said, okay, well... Um, let's get you down here to see it. Don't come all the way down the stairs. Just kind of stand in the doorway and look. And I've got it kind of cornered. And so she came down and she looked, or not down, but she came over to the door and she looked and she was like, okay, I still have the fears. I faced them, but I still have them. I still have them. It's bad. It's bad. I'm going, I'm going away. I'm going away. <laughs> I said, well, it's not a very big one. She goes, they get bigger. That does not make me feel better. <laughs> Bless her heart. Anyway, just bad stuff. Now, my sister's calling. I'm going to answer real quick. Well, um, I'm going to pause, and I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay, I am back. No idea where I left off, but <laughs> I know my desk looks a little different because I was fiddling with stuff while I was talking to my sister. Okay, so... A little decoupage. I think I finished the story about the tarantula. I finally did get the tarantula out of the house with the help of a broom and a dustpan. And he went on his merry way. And so far, our laundry room has been tarantula free. And my husband's all, <laughs> why didn't you step on it and kill it? Well, here's my policy. If it is big enough to make a splat under my foot, I'm not stepping on it. No, no, there's some other way to handle it. I'm not stepping on it. Okay. There's that and creepy things. There may be more creepy stories. I have so many. I mean, it's some are embarrassing. Some are just creepy. It's just, I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only one. And some people maybe don't focus on the crazy things that happen in their life, but I am. Okay. I have a water pen that I got. I, I want to say I got it. Initially, my sister gave me one, and then I think I found a set of three at the Dollar General. They may have them at the Dollar Tree now. I don't know. I haven't been looking for one. So, they are excellent, and if you don't have a water pen, you don't have to, but they're not expensive. But if you have a paintbrush, you can do the same thing just by dipping it in water. But you just go across where you want to tear your napkin. And then you can save that for another time. And then what happens is when you then go to decoupage it, it kind of doesn't leave like a harsh line and it, it works out much nicer. That doesn't mean you can't cut a harsh line later, but it just, I don't know, for some reason it just looks better, I think, if you do this. So that's what we're gonna do. And I'm going trying to go as carefully up here as I can. Now I'm working with hymns, y'all, so there will probably be some singing. I cannot help myself. For instance, this one is Wonderful Words of Life. If you don't know the words of Jesus and you haven't experienced them, and you maybe struggle with reading the Bible, get a hymn book. Read some hymns. Um, they minister to me sometimes more than reading the Bible. Because sometimes... Some people just have a way with words like this one. Sing them over again to me, wonderful words of life. Let me more of their beauty see, wonderful words of life. Words of life and beauty, teach me faith and duty. Beautiful words, wonderful words wonderful words of life 
Beautiful words, wonderful words, wonderful words of life. Oh, man, stuff like that is good. Okay, so the reason that I am doing this um, acrylic medium matte, matte gel stuff, I, for one thing, I got it at a discount price. It's not actually quite cheap enough for me to buy on a regular basis. But also, I like the fact that once you um, have decoupaged, it's not sticky. Sometimes certain glues can be sticky. But you want to be generous. You don't want to, because if you're not, it will dry too fast. I'm going to move that out of the way. And, you know, if it dries before you get your napkin down there, it's very difficult uh, to work with. And then you have to try to maybe wet it in certain places. And you can go over the top of it, certainly. But it's just, I don't know, it's just harder. I always just heard that you need to put a lot. And, of course, in school, we're all like, you know, don't use too much glue. Don't use too much glue. <laughs> ah, because kids were always getting glue everywhere. Now, I'm going to mop this up because if I don't, I'm going to make a mess with my napkin. Okay, so then, and different people have different ways. Some people don't like any wrinkles in their napkin at all. I actually kind of do like the wrinkles a little bit because I think it just adds a little touch of vintageness. And some people have said take a um, piece of saran wrap and go over this. I've not had terribly good luck with that. So I kind of just gently kind of smash it down because you want to get all the air bubbles out. And if you go over it with your paintbrush while it's still wet or if you touch it too much with your wet hand and stuff, you're going to end up tearing it and pulling little pieces back up. Uh, I have done that. And I may do that. I'm not terribly concerned if I do because the whole point of doing it this way is kind of a rustic look. Now, if you don't want that, there are other um, people that can teach you how to do it and not, not have that. I just happen to like the look of the wrinkles. Now, that stayed pretty good. And if you can see, let's see if I'm still on frame and everything, you can still see the words to the song. Of course, you can't see them as well with the darker um, part of the flower, but you can still see, and I just love that. And any place where you see a little bubble, try and tap it down because it is harder to get that later. Okay, now this is going to dry. This is going to curl up a little bit when it dries. Not as much I have found with the matte medium, um, as it does with glue. But I just turn it over and iron the back of it. Okay? And, I, you know, I'll be trimming this down and use it as a pocket or a flip or something like that. Now, I have not thought this through because I'm not, I don't have any flat surfaces. I usually do this on the table. Here's a flat surface. I, I usually do this on the table and then I you know okay now this one is a smaller one although there is one line that I like left from the song standing on the promises uh, I'm standing on the promises of God I'll probably just take that portion right there and put a small piece now I have um, broken up some smaller pieces that I can do stuff like that with okay I want to show you this and also I have some bigger pieces okay let me see if I can get like this. This is napkin that I took the top layer off that was the, the pretty layer, you know, like this. And then the two layers underneath, I have used and printed on them. So this is napkin that I printed on. Is that not gorgeous? Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. I don't know if I want to do that or if I want to do just some little pieces here and there. 
This is another one that I printed. I may do that one. I'm looking for one. I wonder if I should do that there. Well, that makes that butterfly look a little weird being sideways. Don't know that I want to do that. So part of the thing is uh, learning <laughs> what you want where. Oh, these are the little pieces I was kind of looking for. So I think I can do that right there. And then I'm going to just take that off of there. Ooh, I'm not very good at the whole explaining things. Hopefully you can get this from my mess of an explanation. <laughs> okay. Trying to get this on here. Just Now that's not terribly going to really show the words through. Because it's got that darker part. But that's okay. Now, I did not get... Let me see if I can just touch that. Sometimes you can go just along the edges and touch them gently, very, very gently, so as not to rip them. Okay. I started to go in the middle, and it was starting to lift up. I could feel it. Okay. So we'll move that aside. Now, let's see. What do we want to do? on here. We may just go ahead and stick with a purple hodgepodge of stuff. Um, let's see what we've got. We've got this here. That would be pretty. But that kind of would take up the whole thing. I might just do that. I might just do that right there. Unless I want to do this. And then maybe this. Oh, I'll just do that. Okay. You know, Deciding what you want to do where, that is difficult, isn't it? Or maybe it's just me. I don't know. But here we go. So now I will try to kind of just pause this and show you what it looks like when it's dry. I say that. I probably won't do that. And let me tell you what I'll probably do. I'll probably then make another video using some of this stuff so that you can see like okay that's nice and all but then how are we going to use it you know what i'm saying that's what we'll probably do okay i think that will fit here yeah oh okay I have another story <laughs> with the tarantula, believe it or not. Now, I have not seen a lot of tarantulas out here. I have seen three. And we have lived here for six years. So, I feel like that's okay. And I personally would rather see tarantulas than snakes. Because, as I've said in the past, spiders don't tip typically <coughs> um, bother me. Okay, there's Paisley. She has seen something. Paisley, get down, please. <coughs> The neighbors are probably outside doing something. She's fun. Always got to be vocal. Okay. Hold on just a second, please. Okay, I'm back again. That was quite a mess, wasn't it? Crazy dogs. Barking all over the place. Okay. And they may be at it again, because if my neighbors are out working in the yard or something. They always feel like they have to talk. So, not all, oh, I started to talk about tarantulas. Okay, now some of you, that may just freak you totally out. It may not be your thing. Spiders and everything. Snakes, my issue. I don't particularly like, uh, what do you call it? Um, all those things with the pointy tails. Scorpions. Ooh, don't like those either. But again, they're small enough, as long as they don't come on me in a surprise attack. Let's see, how can I get this just right? I am not going to press that 
down because I don't want that getting in that other picture. Okay. I hope my head is not in the way. No idea what I'm doing. Okay, so back to the tarantulas. <laughs> you know I have a problem with gluing and talking at the same time. Oh, what made me think I could do videos? I do not know. Okay, so we're going to set this aside as well. Love it. It looks so good when it's dried and everything. This is literally just playing with glue. Playing with glue. Okay. So, the first exchange student I had was in 2019. And we had only lived here a year at that point. Um, I'm looking for one of the smaller songs, which I think is... This is my father's world. This is my father's world. And to my listening ear, all nature sings and round me rings the music of the spheres. Okay. Anyway, I'll stop. I'm telling a story. So my first exchange student, also from Germany, also terrified of spiders. Well, she was terrified of all creeping things. Let me see before I put glue down where I really want this to go. And <laughs> she was so funny. We came back from, I had picked her up from a ball game and it was nighttime. Her and her friend were there. Her friend gets out of the car and I'm a, and she's getting out of the car and I'm still in the car at that point, grabbing my keys and purse and everything, turning off the lights. And she gets back in the car immediately, shuts the door and says, nope. And I said, what's the deal? And she said, no, because she would always make kind of this throw up sound whenever she would see a spider. And I would say, oh my goodness, is there a spider? <laughs> and she's like, yep, I'm going to sleep right here. And I was like, do you not think spiders can get in the car? Oh, she just lost it then. She was like, no. Anyway, so, but she's like, that one's going to have to move though before I get out. So I get out and look. And it was a tarantula. Now, that one was fairly big, about the size of my hand. And I got big old man hands. And <laughs> so I call on Rob to go and kill it. Because this is before he was in a back brace and could get around pretty good. And he comes in and or get rid of it. I didn't necessarily want him to kill it. But he comes out on the carport and he, he kills it. It goes away. I'm not, he's not for sure if he killed it, but it disappeared pretty quickly and he thinks he stomped it and it went somewhere to die. <laughs> we'll go with that. We will go with that. So, that was another tarantula incident. And then one I just saw while I was out mowing. And he got out of the way pretty quick. He was like, look, that machine looks like it's going to take my life and so I'm going to move. I'm just going over the edge here y'all. So that's our experience with tarantulas out here. Now I've got another funny story since we're on creepy crawly things and I've just been on a creepy kick lately. Y'all are going to be like I'm going away. I am not listening to any more of that crazy girl. She is too much. So we lived in Lawton and I may have told this story before. When you tell it more than once, you know, you start losing, like, the ability to remember who you told it to and when and where and, you know, all that. So, if I'm just repeating myself, forgive me. But then, if you haven't watched the video, you might not have heard it. So, um, well, I like that song, Lead On, O King Eternal. Lead on, O King Eternal. And praise Him, praise Him. Praise Him, praise Him, Jesus our blessed Redeemer. Anyway, um, I digress. <laughs> so, we lived in Lawton. And when I knew that my husband had gotten a job in Lawton, I had to call out on God and ask for protection because, um, because I knew that in Lawton they had things like um, Rattlesnake Roundup. And Lawton is kind of the desert part of Oklahoma. And there's like a lot of rocks and 
not a lot of trees or grass and it's I mean there are grassy spots and stuff but it's not there's a lot of rocks so um, we lived in this house that had no carpet in it except for the two bedrooms that were in the back I don't know that I want to do this in there and um, I was in my bedroom, which was a little ways from the kitchen. And I was, I don't know, doing something on the computer or whatever. And I had my pajamas on and bare feet and everything. And my mother, who lived with us at the time, because she was just starting to feel unsafe because she was getting the beginnings of dementia. We rejected that thought at the time, but it was the case. Anyway, that's not the point. But she she had her mind then. And as she calls from the other room, Peggy Jean! Because of course in the South, especially if it's a scary situation, you have to use two names. It's scary or in trouble. <laughs> anyway, she goes, get in here! And I'm all okay coming right now so I didn't even stop to put on shoes because I was scared what I was gonna find you know never in my life did I dream that I would find when I went in there my mother with a <laughs> with a kitchen towel circling this creepy crawly on the floor that turned out to be a scorpion <laughs> but she goes I go, what? And she goes, she, there she is with circling this thing. She goes, what is it? Because, <laughs> of course, we had not, I mean, you know, we had not, didn't live in the desert before, so we had not seen them in person, you know, just on, like, TV shows or in books or something. So I said, oh, my goodness, Mother, that's a scorpion. That is a scorpion. And <laughs> she was always tearing up a paper towel to blow her nose on. Inevitably, she'd be in the kitchen or something and not be able to find a Kleenex in time. So she would tear a paper towel into fourths. So you've got your square paper towel. She would tear it into fourths. She handed me a fourth of a paper towel and said, get it. <laughs> I was like, um... First of all, that's not big enough. <laughs> and second of all, I'm going to need to kind of step on it first. You know, I'm sorry, my mouth is going away because I'm trying to find a flat spot to put this. Um, so I'm cracking up at her. So I go back and I get my shoes. It wasn't a terribly large scorpion, but I knew I was going to have to step on it. And I was just wigging out. Um... And finally, I'm just like, okay. And I just stepped on it. And then, even funnier, she hands me this same little fourth of a paper towel and goes, get it. <laughs> well, I mean, even though it's dead and stuff, it still has, you know, sharp stinger bits and I was like not wanting to do that and I was like can I have a whole paper towel maybe just not <laughs> oh when I came back out I forgot to tell this when I came back out before I had killed it she is circling this thing standing back but circling with this um dish dish towel and she has angered it and it's like all you know raised up and like looking like in its tails all oh my word I was it was even worse it was just worse and I was just freaking out you know I was like why are you angering it stop <laughs> you know, I don't know what to do with it I don't want it to hide before you can kill it <laughs> just so funny so then you know she grabs me a whole paper towel and I'm like just full cringing getting that I gotta say that's if it had been a snake, we'd have both left the house and called somebody and been like, no. As it was, I felt like I could get that, but I was completely wigged out. And I call my husband and I'm all, look, 
you're going to have to do whatever it takes, take some time off or something like that. But you are going to have to find out what we have to do to get rid of scorpions. Because I'm not doing this again. No, we're not going to have scorpions in the house. Um, so whatever it takes, exterminators, whatever. If we have to go without food to pay for it, I don't care. We are not doing this. <laughs> He's like, okay. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. I said, talk to people. People know. People are from here. We're not from here. We don't know things about, we just don't know. I can't do it. I cannot do it. I can't step on it. I was like completely losing it. And he was like, okay, I've got it. I'll take care of it. <laughs> my poor husband has had to deal with so much from my lunacy. But anyway, those are my funny, creepy stories for today. And this is decoupage. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I've just had fun with glue. And I must go wash my brush out. We're going to let these dry. Then we're going to come back and do a video on what to do with some of this stuff and how to use it in a journal or some other kind of way. And I hope that you will join me for that little episode where there may be more creepy stories. Who knows? Who knows? I don't know what comes into my head. No idea. One just feeds off another. <laughs> Bye, y'all.